Hey everybody, welcome to Sid's Little Corner of the Internet. We've got a Star Wars The Black Series review coming your way. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series, Ahsoka Tano, as we saw her in The Mandalorian. So as we always do, let's go ahead and take a look at that packaging first. And up top, you have that Star Wars The Black Series. There's your little spot where she lives. Star Wars The Mandalorian, Ahsoka Tano, warning... Over here on the side, you've got that nice artwork where she looks very intimidating. On the back, you have your product shots and you've got a little bit of a bio there that if you want to pause and read, feel free to do so. And then down here, she is number 19. Attention, you've got all your warnings. You have the sad baby down there. Over here on the side, you just have Star Wars The Black Series. Up top, not much. Down low, a little bit of additional information if you choose to read it. So that's it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and see what came inside that box. Behold, laid out here before you is everything that came inside the box, and it's not a lot, but she does come with her most important accessories, which of course are her lightsabers. But first, we'll get rid of this little sheet of warnings, and then we'll focus on the lightsabers. Now, she does come with two. They are not identical. They are different lengths. So we'll try to hold them like this and show you that you do have two different lengths on those lightsabers there. So let's go ahead and focus on the smaller one first. And you can see it does come in that white lightsaber color that she uses from her kyber crystal. And coming in here and looking at the hilt and the handle there, pretty good amount of detail for something the size that it is. And you do have your little clip ring on the end there. So not too bad. And then moving on to the second one. Same thing as far as the color goes. And then the second one is essentially a larger version of the other one. A little bit more detail on there. And then you've just got this additional detail in that area right there. Yeah, they look pretty good. I do like the, uh, the silver that they used for these handles. It's a nice, nice offset to the white. So that's it as far as the accessories themselves. So what we'll do now is we'll bring her in and take a look at her details. Here she is, the Jedi we've all been waiting to see. This is the Mandalorian's version of Ahsoka Tano. And this, of course, is based on the actress Rosario Dawson, who plays Ahsoka on The Mandalorian. So let's go ahead and bring this figure in and start up here at the head and take a look at that very fine head sculpt there. Lots of attention to detail here, and I think it does a good job of capturing the actress the eyes look good, the painted abs look good. Even up here at the top, you've got these touches of silver. So yeah, this is definitely for me, this is the highlight of the figure. And then coming on down to the chest, pretty faithful to what we saw on the show. Just nice touches of paint right down here. And then you have this textured look and feel on her outfit on her tunic I believe is what you might call that correct me if I'm wrong and it's long and flowy and then comes down to her boots and then she's got those little ninja style feet right there and then coming up here to the side everything looks pretty good and then you can see just kind of that different tone right there in the belt so almost a uh, brown coupled with that blue and then you've got her arms we'll take a look at she's got her fingers exposed and she's got her arm guards her uh, blanking out on what they call but uh, bracelets something along those lines it'll come to me it'll come to me halfway through the review and I'll just yell it out gauntlets gauntlets I wasn't even halfway through the review. Gauntlets. There you go. She has her gauntlets. And then coming up here to the biceps. Looks pretty good there. And even on the insides, not a lot of detail, not a lot to see, but you do have some of that nice texturing in there as well. All right, and then coming around to the back, you have the back of her head. And then moving on down. Got this nice sculpted area back here that looks like a knot where all that is tied together. So good attention to detail there. 
and then coming down to the backs of those boots. And then she does have the little ports on the bottoms of her feet if you want to use a stand as well. So yeah, I think the detail on this figure looks really good. Like I stated, the face for me, the head sculpt is definitely the highlight of this figure. I think it accurately captures the actress and it looks really good here. So let's go ahead and jump into that articulation and uh, see what kind of poses you can get out of this figure. And we'll start right up here with her head. So her head has some mobility, but because of her headdress or her the rest of her head dangling off everywhere, it kind of limits her movement. But you can get a little bit of up, a little bit of down, a little bit of side to side. I mean, it's there, but you can't really use it. And then you can turn her head about that much. So now, I mean, I guess if you pushed a little harder, you could, you know, so you can get maybe something like that going or something like that going. It almost looks kind of evil, but yeah, so you get, a, it's kind of limited in the movement, but you get enough where you can give her some good expressions for sure. And I would not want to lose the detail here to gain articulation in the head. You've got enough. And with this detail, it works for me. So down here at the arms, I mean, this is typical of all black series, what you're seeing. So you're going to come out about that far and then you can go all the way around. You can get a pretty deep bend at the elbow and then you do have your bicep rotation right there. So you can go all the way around and then you do have motion down here at the wrist where you can spin the wrist and you can tilt it up. You can tilt it down. And th this tilt is really helpful for her uh, when she holds her lightsabers. So it definitely helps as far as getting some poses there. Uh, I am not a master when it comes to posing figures, so I'm sure some of you out there can be way more creative than me. Uh, you do have a lot of articulation going on right here at a very high waist, so you can have her leaning back, you can have her leaning forward, you can even get her some, give her some really cool side-to-side -side motion, so it's very nice. And then of course that couples as the waist rotation as well. Now down here at the legs, it's where things get a little more complicated just because of all this other stuff going on. So you can get her about that far. So you're not going to get a full split out of her, but it's a still enough. And then you can kick forward about that far, kick backward about that far. And then at this knee, you can kind of see what they've done here with the cutout. So you're going to get right at just maybe just over 90 degrees at that knee. And then these are very stiff on my copy, not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. And then down here at the feet, uh, you can bring the feet down like that. You can bring the feet up like that. You can tilt the feet to a grotesque angle if you choose to do so. So yeah, you get a pretty decent amount. Oh, let's not forget about the thigh swivel. So you do get also get thigh rotation, so you can go that far out and you can go that far in. All right. So yeah, you can certainly get her in some nice poses and she's pretty stable. I haven't necessarily had to use a stand with her yet. Uh, I think she's got a pretty decent amount of balance, but she does have very small feet. So it's just something to be aware of. If you can find the right pose, she'll hold it for you. No problem. All right, so as far as accessories go, we're not going to do a separate segment here. We're just going to lump this all in because, I mean, they're lightsabers. You know, it's, it's not like there's a whole lot to show off here. And, you know, in my Transformers reviews, I would talk about blast effect compatibility, that kind of stuff. Well, these are lightsabers. So, you know, you're, you're going to plug them in. Um, and I find it easier. I know I'm burning her hands right now. This burns, this burns, I know. But I find it easier if you just sli slide it in that way. And then you can have her holding it and really depending on how good you are and your posability, where you want her to position those lightsabers. And, you know, much like what her character does, you can have her holding them like this, or you can have her, have her holding them like this. So you could do, I don't know, uh, get it. There we go. Maybe something cool like that. She's not quite holding it well. There we go. So you can do something cool like that if you wanted to. That's uh, up to you. It's going to be your shelf with your figure. So it doesn't hurt my feelings. But there you go. So that's really it for the accessories. I mean, what, what else do you want to see? There's really no weapon storage. Um, you do have down here on her waists. I guess we can talk about those real quick. You do have the ability. 
if you wanted to plug those in. You could do that if you wanted to. But her lightsabers are gonna burn somebody, so just be careful if you do that. All right, so let's go ahead and move into some comparisons and see how she stacks up against some other figures out there. Just a quick note before we get into the comparisons, I do wanna point out that Yes, uh, if you wanted to, focusing on a lightsaber here, if you wanted to hang these on her belt, you could remove the lightsaber portion or the, the don't touch really hot portion and then just have the base if you wanted to. But I don't like to do that because these are already really small figures and it's super easy to lose these. So it's kind of a best practice for me that I... I I just don't like to take these apart. I would much rather just have her holding them than trying to stick them right here without this portion. And then I end up losing this portion and you know, that's a, that's a loss for everybody. So that being said, now we'll get into the comparisons. So for our first comparison, I thought it only made sense to bring in a fellow Jedi. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it would have made more sense to bring in somebody from the Mandalorian series, but uh, I wanted to give Obi-Wan some love here, so uh, we'll get him some screen time. But yeah, this is Obi-Wan from the Vintage Collection. So you can see how those two stack up next to each other. For our next comparison, here we see Ahsoka next to a Jawa that I've had since I was a kid. So this little dude is many decades old. And, you know, the crazy thing is, I think the scale actually works pretty well. I don't know exactly how tall Jawas are, but I would estimate that that's probably pretty close. For our next comparison, here we see Ahsoka next to a Predator from Haya Toys. This is a 118th scale Predator, so you can get an idea of how the Black Series stacks up next to some 118th scale figures. And finally, as most of you may know by this point, it wouldn't be a review done by me if I didn't find a way to drag a Transformer into it. So this is the Studio Series Drift, and I thought Drift would be a good choice for our final comparison here because, much like Ahsoka, Drift studies the mystic martial arts, and he's got a couple of different swords that are a different size, and uh, you wouldn't want to meet him in the back of an alley and have him be your enemy. So uh, there you go. All right, that's it for comparisons, so let's get into those final thoughts. Yeah, so my final thoughts on the Black Series Ahsoka Tano are pretty simple. I think this is a good figure, and I think it's definitely worth uh, the price of admission. Uh, I think it's a worthy Black Series figure, and the aesthetics on this figure are definitely the strongest points, what I really enjoy. So let's break it down just a little bit here and, and talk about those aesthetics to start with. What a great head sculpt. The, the paint the sculpt work itself everything is absolutely brilliant on my copy and hopefully that's the same for yours as well uh, everything else the the little details are there the texturing on her clothes just those little touches of paint the silver on the handles for her lightsabers it all works it all looks really good so i have no complaints whatsoever on her and she has a really good shelf presence i just need to work on my poses for her, what I'm going to uh, get her posed in for the shelf. Uh, and speaking of poses, moving on to the articulation. Um, yeah, I mean, it is a typical Black Series figure. So the articulation that you would expect is there. The weakest point is going to be that head. You just don't get as much uh, motion out of that head as you would out of others, just simply because of the way her head is shaped. But it more than makes up for it in the overall aesthetic. So I'm not going to have any problem getting her in some good poses uh, even with those limitations on her head, but everything else is what you would expect from the Black Series. Maybe those knees, uh, if they would have found a different way to do those knees, just with all that geometry down there, if you could have gotten a slightly deeper knee bend, but everything else is there, and you'll be able to get her in some nice poses. Uh, the accessories, she comes with two lightsabers. That's who she is. That's what she does. That's what she comes with. So they are in just absolutely appropriate for this figure. I wouldn't have expected anything more and I wouldn't have expected anything less. So yeah, those accessories are right on par. She's got those little nubs on each side of her hip where you can plug them in for storage if you choose to do so. So yeah, they look good. Moving on to overall quality. This is, I'm kind of batting 1000 here with Black Series figures. 
I don't have any issues with this. The paint apps are fantastic. The sculpt work looks really well done. All the joints are tight. She came with everything that she was supposed to. So I don't have any quality issues whatsoever with this figure. I think overall it is uh, typical of the quality that we've been receiving from the Black Series figures, and I certainly hope they continue that trend. And moving on to value. Yeah, um, I think the value is there for this figure. This is a figure that I picked up for $22 US at a Target in North America, and I really like her, and I think she was worth the money. Uh, she's a unique character, and she's iconic, and this figure captures her really well. So, yeah, I think the value is there, and I think that this figure is an easy recommend from me to you. Uh, if you collect the Black Series, you're definitely going to want to put her in your in her or in your collection. And yeah, I I, I think that this is a worthy addition. So with that, that's going to wrap up the review. I hope you guys got some good information out of this. I hope you were entertained. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and leave some comments below if you choose to do so. So until we see you guys in the next review, take care.